Hi everyone! Welcome to the next look of Selangor Fashion Week Season 1 TV Host and MC Interview Challenge 2020. My name is Li Shen and I am 24 years old. I am from Selangor, Malaysia and I am in the TV Host and MC category. One of my biggest aspirations as a finalist and TV host and MC in the next look of Selangor Fashion Week is to keep learning from others in order to improve my audience interaction and also impromptu speaking skills in order to become a better TV host and MC. I also wish that I can eventually get to reach my aspiration of getting to speak at a radio talk show and also offer my MCing skills for free to charity events in order to give back to society. Lastly, I will be interviewing my father at Tugu Nagara, which is the National War Monument in Kuala Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Li Shen, your host for today, and we are currently in front of the National War Monument, Tugu Nagara in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today, we will be interviewing my dad, Mr. James Lee Pequan, who is a martial artist, and he will be sharing with us more about his art and his life throughout the MCO period. Let's find out more. Those are some really interesting moves. Would you mind telling us a bit more about them? Ah, actually, this art is actually from Japan. And the official name is actually Budinkan Udo Tajusu or Budinkan Nijusu. And our dojo is located in Sabah and Kucho. It's a very traditional dojo. Would you mind telling us a bit more about yourself and more about your dojo's operations? And how Ninjutsu is a bit different from other forms of martial arts? Ah, okay. Uh, I've done other arts before I did Ninjutsu. I've done Taekwondo, uh, two types of Silat, and three types of traditional Chinese martial arts. And uh, our dojo has a very old Ninjutsu field. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's more like a 60s, 70s, right after independence. I see. Uh, which is a bit different from most of the traditional techniques. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, which is a bit different from most of the traditional techniques. Yes. It's more Malayan nice or Malaysian master. And uh, our art actually is uh, originated directly from Japan and uh, it's an art practiced by ancient Japanese ninjas and samurai families and uh, most of the time the style comes from those who are practicing spy. Wow. They're actually spies and saboteurs. So more like, more, more like commandos a little bit. And uh, today the only style that's recognized by the Imperial family, and this is a start, it's the Jinkan Budo Chinese. I see. Since your operations, like for example, your class sessions are all counted as sports activities and which were banned under the MCO, how was your activities affected during the MCO and how did you spend any of your spare time during this period? Uh, during the spare time, we try to practice on our own. And if possible, I try to upload my own videos and I put it on Facebook so that my students can practice on their own. And uh, those who are senior, they actually know what to do. And most of the time, the videos are more like what you can say. Uh, more systematically well done, so that even the white doctors or even the juniors, they can understand our practice. I see. Do you think that your ninjutsu, uh, as you said, that it's been 20 years so far, at least 20 years since you've been doing this. So, um, how, does, how do you think that um, ninjutsu has been standing in the Malaysian uh, martial arts? Uh, we are not very commercialized, so we are actually quite small. Uh, although we, although other martial do heard of us and know about us, and mom, and I'm also friends with uh, martial arts instructors from different styles, but uh, we are not that commercial like that. I think uh, more on the traditional track. I see. Do you still plan on expanding more and making ninjutsu well, more well known to Malaysians? Uh, I hope so. If the manpower is there, actually, uh, but we still need to train a certain quality in order for it to expand. I see. Um, last of all, do you still think that uh, martial arts can play a role in helping to promote Malaysian tourism? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, like for example, Silat is uh, indigenized in the Nusantara region. So like Malaysia, we have uh, their own brand of Silat, which actually helps with uh, what they call helping Malaysia to promote tourism. And uh, on its own, like other martial arts, uh, for example, traditional Chinese martial arts, which, which can't be found in China and were brought down by Chinese migrants. They have their own flavors. 
uh, which can also help in promoting Malaysia. I see. Do you think Indonesia in particular can help play a role in helping to promote Malaysian identity? Uh, definitely, because uh, as time progress, uh, each of us have a different flair or different way of going. So in some ways, because I was doing other arts too, so I did incorporate, or how do I say, those arts also influence my movements in uh, the industry. Uh, so in a way, it has its own flavor. And it could, it could affect people to I see. Thank you so much. That was our last question for our interview today. Thank you so much, Mr. James. Um, You're if, welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think you have any, uh, you're any interest, if you're interested towards uh, Mr. James' um, work of art, feel free to contact him more. Do you have any last comments to say? Uh, for any ventures that you want to do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our interview for today. My, once again, my name is Lisha and I hope you've enjoyed this episode for today. And I wish all of you a great day ahead. Thank you.